I think, Corey, you should have the honors of turning this guy on. Wait, 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 we're not plugged in yet. All right, here it is. Three, two, one, Twilight Zone. I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Okay, what's going on today, boys and girls? Got a fun little uh, adventure happening right now. If you haven't watched the video I posted a while back called, I think about a month ago, Entire Arcade Stored in a Barn, search that, and you will see that we had this, you know, barn find of a bunch of uh, pinball machines and arcade games. And Kevin ended up with the Twilight Zone from that lot, and I'm headed over there, and we are going to turn it on for the first time. We picked it up from storage yesterday, and he set it up in his garage. It's all warmed up because it is friggin' cold out, and my storage is not temperature controlled. Hopefully soon, one day it will be, but it currently is not, and Twilight Zone was friggin' minus a thousand degrees. So, he's got it set up, it's warmed up, and turns out I have the like one master key for all the pinball machines we picked up from there so he is waiting on the master key to even open up the coin door and see what we can find inside I believe we did check inside a little bit when we were at the barn but not very thoroughly so we're gonna take a kind of close look at that Twilight Zone from the barn it was very humid damp and uh, yeah, there's definitely some storage damage. Other than the storage damage, we think the condition is good, but we'll find out soon. And that's what's happening today. We're gonna turn on Twilight Zone. Also, if you watched a video in the past, or if you haven't, called something like Terminator 2 Explosion, well, that Terminator 2 also was from the barn find, and you can see that video of me turning it on and hoping for no explosions, but there was a little small one. So there's that as well. But that is the game plan today. So I'm headed over there. So let's check out this Twilight Zone. All right, we're here. Let's check out the action. I think the party started without me. Knock, knock. All right, we're here with the boys. I uh, we're here to check out Twilight Zone. What's going on today? We have special guest Corey Cook of London Pinball. What have you been working on these days? Uh, sky jump. Um, and Kevin's gonna seal the glass for me. Okay, cool. Check that out. And, uh, and then I got a six million dollar man coming in tomorrow. And then uh, hyperballs, two hyperballs. You're still working on those hyperballs, right. eh? Not yet. Who has time? I know, right? Hyperball is, uh, if you don't know what hyperball is, it's basically like pinball meets machine gun. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're here to check out the Twilight Zone barn find. Um, and look what I brought. The master key. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think it's this guy here. So we got it set up. I had a key too, but it didn't open it, so... Oh, you had one that was uh, similar? Yeah. Didn't do the trick? Okay, so, yeah, let's take a closer look here. Like, it's actually... Other than the storage damage, it's got some, uh, well, I was going to say some <laughs> clean corners, but you get around to those corners, it's not amazing. But, like, you got some corners that are pretty nice. But uh, definitely lots of rust. Um... Yeah, it's not bad. It's got your kind of typical fade. It's got the typical uh, swelling from water. <laughs> yeah, the typical the typical the water this swellage. Is from, this is from the band? No, uh, Godrich. Yeah, Godrich. There is uh, yeah, yep, yep. entire arcade stored in a barn. Yep, saw it. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> um, the glass has not been off this yet, so we're... Yeah, right, because oh, you haven't even... Um, been in the coin so it came with like the one master key for all the machines that were there which was what six of them so, 
And uh, so we've not even been inside this yet. All right. So, <laughs> what's that? I didn't have a power cord, so I just steal one. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. Oh, your clock is um, not attached. Not attached. It just just and look, your uh, there's your power ball is way up there. Your flipper rubber way up on the ramp. Yeah, there's a couple up there. It's pretty dirty. All right. Well, here I give you the master key. I hope so. I think it's that one. Let's see what we got. Nope. Okay. Oh, maybe it's the other one then. No, that's my storage key. That That's the key to a couple more machines. <laughs> there it is. Um, I think we did kind of peek in here. Yeah. Because we had the master key when we were at the barn. I didn't. I actually, I took the thing off. You removed it? Okay. So I could bolt it. All out. right. Because, so, yeah, we did check out the boards. Oops. Um. I don't, we didn't pull the glass off or anything. We just kind of, no, we just kind of looked inside the cabinet, but now it is time. All right. Shall we? Sure. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Receiver are not that bad. So you're going to witness the uh, twilight zone being turned on for the first time. I just want to see the fire. <laughs> uh, I did turn on a toilet, uh, Terminator 2 that came from the same barn, and uh, there was a little bit of explosion in the back. There? Yeah, this small. Uh, apparently, it was just a tantalum capacitor that uh -huh. uh, kind of went up in a little bit of flames, but uh, it wasn't actually that bad. Okay, whoa. Look at this. It was played hard. That is some pretty good filth there, but the inserts feel pretty nice overall. Oh, yes. Yeah, what the heck? How does that even dislodge? There's no screw in there. The screw has worked its way out, I guess. There's just one big screw that fits there. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a few flipper rubbers. Um, there very well may be evidence of uh, creatures right, that lived in here. In the <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, shooter lane. Any shooter lane wear? Cool. Actually, I think I've seen power balls in worse shape than that. Alright. How's the plastics? They're actually in pretty good shape. power yeah okay well I don't see anything completely to which the CPU CPU well uh, uh, we did check in the barn and I think it was okay let's take another look and see oh there's no batteries that's good yeah we removed it when we were there oh. they all every single one had batteries installed but I think this is the only one. No, uh, WWF was the only one that was corroded. Yeah. But yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, that's actually nice. Like I have, I have pretty good confidence that this is gonna boot up. Like the GI connector. Would you say that's been redone? No, because it's, it's still in gotcha rigid. Place. Okay, a little bit toasty on uh, this side here, but that's about the only wear I see. I don't see any exploded transistors or. What are these? Oh yeah, what is these? Oh yeah. <laughs> this that is for the display. Oh yeah. So that could be disconnected on purpose, but maybe not. Well, and then yeah, this so guy. When they were all flipped down, I remember we were having trouble flipping them back. Well, we're gonna plug it in there and hope that it works. You guys see anything else? Suspicious or disconnected? Hey, what is this? There's a note here. What did that say? M? Someone have something disconnected at one point? This is like really 
tight. There is no slack whatsoever. I don't know what's going on with that. Spider remnants. Okay, well. Oh, yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, what was the back like? I forget. <clears throat> Yeah, right. So obviously it like leaked on the back, went through these grates, and then into on the here. Let's Could see. Worse, I guess. Not bad yeah. for uh. Um... Like yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. This is uh, this is way many steps ahead from your Adams family start, eh? Okay. Well, uh, at some point, it would be a good idea to check all the fuses, but save that for another day. I know, right? That's no fun. <laughs> I think, Corey, you should have the honors of turning this guy on. Wait, 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 wait. We're not plugged in yet. <laughs> oh, wait. It could already be powered on. Get ready. Okay. All right. Here it is. Three, two, one. Twilight Zone. Look at this. Exit out of the settings there. Oh, we didn't get our bong. Holy shit! We got action. Let's throw some balls in the uh, trough and see if it. Oh, there's Sam. Dude, I have a feeling this is gonna work pretty well. That's your only uh, error message thus far. Come in the house just like this. Yeah, right. There it is. That is amazing. That is amazing. Get some credits. And uh, see if we have the right number of balls. Here we go. <sighs> nice. Okay, Corey's gonna play the first game. Oh wait, we're, uh, we might be missing a ball. I did see one kick out of the gumball. Here we go, there it goes. I just got stuck there, so maybe it'll wanna fire its way out from there. Well, yeah, we can try and hit start and see what happens. Where did that ball six. even go? So for six, six balls. Here, there's a ball still stuck right in there. I don't know. Uh, there, I just sent it down. It's going somewhere. I hear it going to the subway. Should be firing out of here, maybe. There we go. Is it happy? Okay, try this again. Yeah, wait, we gotta turn it up a little. Here it is. Corey's the guinea pig. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. It's a little pitched a little uh, slow right now. Oh! <laughs> It actually is missing the uh, back leg altogether. Oh, yeah. oh, all legs are missing. Okay, I all see. Because, all, yeah. The, the one missing, yeah, right. So all, all the leg levelers were removed. <laughs> this is amazing. I cannot believe this works as well as it does. You didn't get too uh, lost in the zone, man. <laughs> Even the hey, display, Powerball! Even the display is alright. The display is good. The Powerball actually registers. Kind of missing a rubber on the right flipper, but... Oh, like, that's the only one that is partially hanging on. All the rest Yeah, are... right. I can't believe how well this friggin' works, man. Like, it shouldn't be much to do whatever is needed to be done, other than cosmetics, of course. This is amazing. Oh, cool. Is that the noise this mode makes? What? Oh, it's the clock that's turning. That's what that noise is. So the ball, power ball, went somewhere, but 
put it back. Let's try and tilt. Oh, there's probably no tilt, Bob. Oh, wait. There we go. <laughs> oh. Powerball Mania. Nice. Yeah, I guess the clocks are typically notorious for being, oh yeah, there we go. For being uh, finicky. Guess there's new clock boards you can buy. But all in all, it's friggin' awesome. Oh, that was a nice Pat Lawler loop right there, eh? <laughs> Okay, still, well. There's still a ball out there somewhere. Huh. Well, I'd say you got a much better palette to work with. Well, the Adams family was kind of working when you started, but definitely a much better palette to work with this time around. That's amazing. Like, the Powerball is registering and working. I didn't really see anything that wasn't working yet, other than the clock, right? Well, the clock is functional. It is. Yeah, that's right. It just seemed to be like going into warp speed. Hey, should we take a look at under the playfield and kind of see what that looks like? Because boards are nice. There's no GI strands out in the back box, which is often the case. <clears throat> What's up? Uh, uh, there's the missing ball, but oh well, shouldn't go too far. Oh yeah. Those uh, wire uh, harnesses are a little, a little worse for wear. All right, well, this is lock. The ball on the bottom, though. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a ball there. Okay, so really not much to speak of in here. The tilt bob is missing. Did you have one in your coin box? Uh, no. Whoops. Miscellaneous hardwares. Oh, this is. Ah, hey, look at that. So you have the a complete extra set. This is your wing nut for your um, tilt bob wire. Ah, there it is. Nice. Oh, what else we got? Another wing nut, for whatever reason. Yeah, it's not that bad. Oh, it's a little... Whoa. It's a bulb cop. <laughs> nice. Uh, on the fly fix, there's a, there's a link back there. Possibly from a probably a flipper and uh, another rubber and a washer, but really no uh, hundred dollar bills or manuals or anything fun. Oh, jeez. Oh yeah. How's that rubber doing? Okay. What about the uh, playfield? How is uh, something worth checking out? The subway definitely dirty, but. Looks okay. Oh, look at this, the old uh, hot glue fix. <laughs> That's nice. <sighs> you don't have a soldering iron, but you got your hot glue gun in your uh, toolbox, you're good to go. You see anything else? What is this board? This has got a whole bunch of big transistors on it. But this game is packed full of crap, so I can see the, the need for the extra action. All right, well, looks pretty good in here all in all. Definitely uh, going to probably, you're going to do a new bottom on this one, you think? Yeah, new bottom. New bottom and new back. Cool, man. Well, there's your uh, Twilight Zone barn find. Nice score, buddy. Are you totally friggin' stoked now? Yeah. <laughs> you're, already, you're already stoked uh, as it was, but this is extra stokage. Gotta like it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we'll probably uh, follow along Kevin as he uh, tears this thing apart and puts it back together again. Um, yeah. If you haven't seen his Badham's family yet, check that out. Yeah. And and uh, we'll have to coin a new uh, term for the Twilight Zone restoration, but like uh, something to do with a barn or mouse poo or something. But anyway, that's uh, that's the action for today. We'll see you guys on the next one. All right, I was about to leave, but then Kevin's like, do you want to play a game? I'm like, well, 
Hell yeah. So we uh, took the front legs off the leveler or off the coasters there. So now we have our pitch. We replaced the four flipper rubbers with Adam's family's old used ones for now. We think all our balls are installed. We've got it on free play. We got the lock bar on. We got the back glass on. Check it out. All right, brother. Give her heck. We'll uh, play, I don't know, we'll split a one player game or something. Oh, starting off with the Powerball, eh? Got the tunes cranked. Should play a little better with some proper pitch now. Oh, a nice little live trap there. Smooth rampage. Oh, look at this. Got his lock lit. Let's see if the light actually works. I think you should be able to lock your ball now. Oh, almost. That's the right orbit, I guess. Shoot right loop. Oh, man. We never play it this loud, so we're kind of hearing some cool stuff that I don't typically hear. Slow pitch, so uh, it's fairly easy right now. Okay, 
Stoked right about now, seeing that everything friggin' like works. All right, do you want to have one more ball? <laughs> All right, I'll play uh, one more ball and uh, oh, I did get eh, and the power ball and extra ball. <laughs> Good thing I had an extra ball. I'm playing my last ball, damn it. I'm not really doing very good with the door panels though. Duper skill shot. I'm gonna land it right on orange. <laughs> Buy extra ball, that's not high score. Let's cancel that. That is friggin' amazing. I cannot believe that pretty much every effing thing works, dude. I know, pretty awesome. What a nice friggin' barn find. So that means. That's good, uh, promising news for like my Jurassic Park, my uh, last action hero too. Anyway, maybe Jurassic Park's next. Kevin's pushing for it, and it's a good idea. So we'll uh, keep you posted on the Twilight Zone action. But man, what a nice start! So there it is, your friggin' Twilight Zone barn find. After we played that game, I kind of scrutinized the playfield. I went through it very closely, uh, almost every square inch, and that thing is friggin' way minter than I even initially thought. Like, all the targets, all the plastics, the playfield, the shooter lane, the scoop wear, the, or lack thereof. Like, the shooter lane almost looks perfect. The target foam is not even disintegrated on most of the targets. Other than the bit of dampness it suffered, it is in really immaculate shape, works perfectly, almost. Um, but yeah, it's such a great, great, great canvas. 
and uh, we got to say hi to Corey Cook of London Pinball there, so uh, check out his channel if you want. He's got lots of videos, all kinds of fun stuff, but yeah, we'll follow along with the Twilight Zone action, and man, what a nice canvas to start with. So congrats on that, brother, and we'll be following along on the progress. Boom.